start the vlog so welcome to today's vlog as you saw we went to church and then journey well it's in the house now journey and Sterly made something for our grandparents day but we aren't going to the grandparents house today um papa oh you did bring him oh let's show him so Sterly made that for her sister to give to grandma and papa and then Sterly made that one for herself to, to give to grandma and papa and, and then, then I made this one. Yeah, she made that with her big giant feet. No. So it says, Happy Grandparents Day. You are my sunshine journey. And it's her little Girl. feet. Your straw's in the way, baby. Uh. Yeah. So anyway. So it is Grandparents Day, which we didn't actually know it was Grandparents Day. Um, usually, Grandparents Day comes right before. I thought it was... Well, I don't know. It's usually right before my birthday. My birthday is September 13th, and I thought it was September 12th. I always thought Grandparents Day was always September 12th, but maybe it's like the whatever Sunday in September. I don't really know these things. Um, but do y'all celebrate Grandparents Day? I mean, it's a great, I guess it's a great holiday, but I don't think it's, you know, one of those like Mother's Day or Father's Day. Let's see, grand, oop, I can't even, I was going to look it up. My phone, my fingers, here, will you type in Grandparents Day, and we'll see what it says. But, um, <clears throat> Papa said that he was going to go out to Fuji and get him something to eat. Oh, it says September 9th. National Grandparents Day, 2019. All right, so National anyway. National Grandparents Day is a peculiar holiday celebrated in the United States of America since 1978, 1978. and officially recognized in a number of countries of various days of the year, either as one holiday. All right, so anyway, happy Grandparents Day. Um, but yeah, Papa said that he was going to go out to Fuji and get him something something to eat 
and then so Uncle Brian is staying there but he's gonna do it like later he's not doing it right now so he just told us that he wasn't gonna cook and us to go get us something to eat as well so that's what we're doing right now we're at my husband's work and um, after this we're gonna go to the clock and get something to eat and Jern Jern is napping she fought it really hard <laughs> she's drooling oh she is teething hardcore she don't have any teeth yet so maybe maybe we got some teeth showing up we will see but after we eat and stuff I have to work today I have to make a rainbow ribbon trim it was a rush order they placed their order Friday and did two-day rush which the second day would be today and as you know there's no mail so I can't mail it out today so it'll mail out tomorrow so um, and I always take uh, try to take Saturdays off and as far as we know we're still going to the beach um, I don't know if Florence is going to put a monkey wrench in that or not I'm hoping like she just either she, she needs to hurry her butt up <laughs> so it's nice when we go down or she just needs to turn around she just needs to turn around Florence the hurricane or tropical storm or whatever she is That's a Florence mm -hmm. Florence is a girl's name it can be either really so anyway yeah we're gonna eat at the clock y'all Hope it's good. You know how long it takes to bake a turkey? We're gonna be here for a while. The turkey's already cooked. <laughs> From three. I don't know. I probably wish I had that. It's not what I wanted. It is, but it's it it cheaper than what I wanted. And I thought, when was the last time I had turkey and dressing? Yeah. We might be like on to something. It might be like, mmm, we gotta get that again. What'd you get, Starley? Tea. What do you get to eat? A baked potato. Uh -huh. And some frozen vegetables. You should get a salad. <coughs> what kind of vegetables do you think is going to be broccoli and cauliflower? Hey guys, it is now um, 4.20. I'm downstairs and I want to start working. I was able to get some of it picked up, if you remember. It was a big mess. Mainly because I had gone through some of these fabrics. And then I was looking for something and just pulled them all out. And they just laid there. So, um, got some of them put back away. But then there's still this mess. And I got pictures of these taken yesterday. Which are a few new sets. Um, I have to make a ribbon trim in the ordered size six to twelve months so there was enough to cut the tool twice so I have an extra one that would be size six to twelve months have I ever get an order for that so that way you know and I have been sticking my tool up over here but I think I moved it all into a bin somewhere yeah right there that bin and organize that too but anyway, um, so I'm going to be making this rainbow ribbon trim today. Uh, here's some fabrics. I laid off from buying fabrics for, I don't know, a very long time. I'll turn you around. Um, a very long time. So if it was like only if I really needed that fabric, like if it, I needed it for appliques and stuff, something that I make over and over and over. So I tried to lay off buying fabric because, as you know, you know, you tend to kind of be a fabric hoarder. <laughs> and I'm no different because I absolutely love fabric. It's like when you go to a store and you see a fabric, you have all of these wonderful, wonderful ideas that you're going to create this wonderful creation with this fabric. And you want to make this with this fabric. And... You see more fabric and you think of these other wonderful creations you're going to make with this fabric. And then you see these other fabrics that you're going to make something wonderful with this fabric. 
And then in the end, there's just never enough time to create all these wonderful creations with all this fabric. So you end up like this. <laughs> I know some people have like a lot. A lot, lot, lot more than what I have. But it's like manual focus. Let me turn it to autofocus. There we go. Yeah. So I know a lot of people have a lot more fabric than I have. But um, I'm the type of person that I don't. I try not to buy more than I think I'll actually need. So if I'm like just doing appliques and I don't know how it's going to turn out, I don't know if it's going to sell or not, I might start out with just a yard or in some cases just a half yard, depending on what kind of appliques you can do because, you know, if you're just using a little bit at a time, you know, you don't need that much. But if it's something that I sell a lot of and I'm going to offer it and I know it sells and I need it and I go through it, um, then I'll go back and buy like two or three yards at a time. But until I know if it's going to sell, I don't. Um, although there has been some, I was going to say, instances where I'm like, oh, I know that's going to sell. And then I buy like three or four yards and then I have three or four yards and I haven't done nothing with it. <laughs> Because I know there's some Olaf fabric. And there's a... Uh, I just saw it. What was it? Um, Doc McStuffins. Um, I've actually thought about selling some of these. Just putting them on Etsy and listing them. Because I know I'm probably not going to use them. But yeah, like... Um, back when Doc was really big. I got... I don't know how many yards of fabric here. Like a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. There's a lot of fabric here, so. Um, same with Olaf, which is in the same hole down there. There's a bunch of Olaf fabric. Um, I got a bunch of this Dora fabric, like a ton, 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 because. Right here. Um, when I first started out, I was making corset tops, and Dora was huge, and like everybody wanted Dora, and everybody wanted that particular Dora, and it's like she's riding a unicorn here. It's like old school Dora. I know Dora got a little weird looking there, but so it's Princess Dora. So there she is. It's blurry. It's not gonna. Fall. Yes, so there she is. And then there's Dora on her unicorn. So this was like a really um, big seller. I was selling tons of this. And so I couldn't find it for like the longest time. So I discontinued the item. I didn't make it anymore. And then I, it was either on eBay I think maybe someone was selling like a ton so I've got probably I say three or four yards right here and maybe another two yards right here Let's see. yeah probably two yards right here no nope, maybe two and a half no nope, two because it's this big <laughs> So yeah, I have a lot of fabrics. So I've been trying, I say within, I mean if I see something on sale I'll pick it up if I think it's something. Like I picked up this pink was a dollar a yard. I ended up getting five yards of it because this is something I can use a lot in the appliques. But other than that, you know, I've been trying to do thread I've been trying to do good and not buy any fabric but this weekend I went a little fabric crazy well I won't say I went fabric crazy because I probably only ended up with buying maybe five or six yards but it's a bunch of different fabrics um scooby-doo because I want to make a scooby-doo one and um, I actually have some Scooby-Doo fabric already, so I should have looked. 
this because I thought it was super duper cute and I never saw it anywhere. But then today at Jillian's, I found it. This crap was high at that fabric store. It's $11.99 a yard. I only got a half a yard. It's only $9.99 at Jillian's and it was an additional 30% off. So I could have saved some money. Uh, I think I mentioned I wanted to make a Toy Story. I just really like this. Stars. This I want to do for some turkeys. Sterling loves, 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 is crazy about Jack Skellington. And I really like this fabric. When I walked into Joanne's, it was just like right there. I'm like, okay, I'm buying that. So I just got a half yard. I'm going to make a little um, applique shirt for her like I did. Either that or I'm thinking about doing one for Journey. Because um, Sterling already has one, so. And then uh, everyone keeps asking for this PJ mask and so I'm like all right I'll give in <laughs> and then dinosaurs because I saw this print and I just fell in love with this and I was like oh I want that I don't know why <laughs> so anyway those are just some fabrics will I ever do anything with them who knows who knows they just might sit on the shelf. But they brought me pleasure at the moment I was buying them. So, And so anyway, I'm going to work on a few embroidery designs. I have to make this ribbon trim. Oh, I picked up another one of these. Because uh, we were at Joanne's. And so now I've got three of them. I told my husband, I was like, I want to be, you know, well stocked. Next thing, I'll just start stocking up on my spray and bonds, especially for the fall because fall go through a lot. And oh, so I saw this and I never used it before. I don't know if it works or not. But ouch, burn myself. Look, I didn't burn myself, thankfully. But look at my iron. So I'm gonna try to clean it off real quick. <laughs> It's like smoky in here. So I use a iron cleaner. <coughs> I say it did a little bit, but not really. So if you have any good tips how to clean your iron, let me know down below. I guess I could Google it, but... <sighs> so this stuff, I don't know. I followed the instructions. I already used one whole one. And here is this one I've been using... It's just to put it on the cotton setting and to put it on a terry cloth towel. Set iron to highest temp, richer squeeze contents of two 100% cotton terry towel. Rub hot iron over towel. Wipe clean area. And it said it did smoke and it did smoke. So it's all like smoky in here. But anyway, let's get to work now. Hey guys, it is now 6.30. Oh, it's almost 6.40. Um, but I made this. This is for one of my viewers. This is for Pamela F. Um, she actually made Journey some blankets with little drafts on them in her name. It's so cute. But anyway, she ordered this off from my Facebook. And if you're not on my Facebook, I actually have like three Facebooks. One is my personal account that I to be honest with you, I don't hardly ever post there. I mean, I don't, I'm not on there as often as I am on Sterling Style, which is for this um, YouTube. So the links are down below. You see my shadow? Links are down below. So and the other one is my work, which is Tool Time Fairy. And if you don't know um, my shop, my Etsy shop is called Tool Time. And it's kind of funny because I came up with the name Tool Time Fairy because I used to make fairies. Tool Time, I thought it was cute. Like, Tool Time off from, like, um, what was that show? Home Improvement, if you remember Home Improvement. And he had a, a thing called Tool Time on there, like the other kind of tool, though. So I just thought it'd be funny um, to be Tool Time. And where was I going with this? Oh, and I incorporated the name Fairy because I made fairies. So it was Tool Time Fairy, and then I sold on, on eBay, and then somebody uh, stole my name. 
and called them Tool Time Fairy 2. And then started an Etsy account with the name Tool Time Fairy. So I could never start an Etsy account with the name Tool Time Fairy. So I just became Tool Time on Etsy. So, And now I've dropped the fairy part because I don't really do fairies anymore. And um, when I gave up my website, because I used to have a website too called ToolTimeFairy.com, somebody turned it into a porn site. It's no longer up, but after I had it, somebody turned it into a porn site. So I wanted to get away from that name. So I just was tool time but anyway there's a link down below and I am doing like sample shirts like this for $20 shipped so um, there's lots of fall designs on there there's lots of Christmas designs on there um, basically I am trying to put more stuff in my shop and this is a way for me to create new items and you know I get to create them for y'all and not like Journey and Sterling having 50 million like 4th of July shirts that they never wore. <laughs> so yeah. So I hope she likes it. Um, these are the fabrics I picked up uh, over the weekend. I just love them. And when I was doing this I was like I'm going to use those fabrics. I'm going to see what it looks like. And honestly I'm in love with it. It's so cute. Anyway I'm still working over here on a rainbow. I'm going to hoop another one and get it going over there. And I still have to make a ribbon trim. Hey guys, that's it for today's vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!